Welcome back. It is Wednesday, October 15th, and it is the run up to Readathon. I like to participate in the Dewey's 24 hour Readathon. It happens twice a year, um, as often as I can. Sometimes I'm traveling or I really have to work a lot. Um, but the nice thing about the Readathon is that you can just read, you know, a chunk of time as best you can. Sometimes I read a little bit extra on Sunday or I start and you know count some extra hours on Friday if you know, I don't have to work so I can get as much reading time in as I can. Uh, tonight I prepared my reading stack or at least the first draft of my reading stack. It's always a lot of books, far more than I could read in one 24 hour period. Would you like to see what I'm planning? That's a lot of books <laughs> and in a, in a kind of a departure this year a lot of them are library books um, over the past summer or so I really hadn't been a library user but then I started using library quite a bit because I came to the realization that I could not single-handedly support the book industry by purchasing books um, I, just, I just don't have it in the budget for all the things that I would really really like to read so hence the library um, I am also participating in the Seasonal Reading Challenge on Goodreads, um, and that's a series of tasks. They have a topic, something can be, you know, read a book where the author's initials make up the symbol for a chemical element, or here are these four tasks, pick two of them, and read a book that fits each task. It's kind of fun. I've been using it to knock off a lot of my library list, or things in my TBR or things that I've just had laying around the house that I've meant to read for quite some time. I just on the way through the library tonight I just happened to see the Lucy Nisley in the new biographic novel section of the library and I just grabbed it on my way past. <laughs> Yoink! So um, that you know, obviously won't take me very long. Cal you know, Some of them I'm kind of halfway through. California I'm halfway done with. Authority I'm halfway done with. Um, uh, obviously, <laughs> I have a secret DRC. It's not so secret, but we were asked that since not everybody got an approval for it, that we kind of not advertise that we had it. So, um, I was it's burning a hole in my pocket, <laughs> so I will definitely be reading that. Um, tomorrow night, I will be stocking up on some snack things. Um, I have to remember that just because it looks good in the freezer case, I just should not buy it if I have never had it before. I have had two really bad cases of indigestion because I saw things like lobster balls in the frozen foods case and thought they would be amazing. And yeah, when you're up at weird hours drinking lots of coffee and tea, just they don't sit very well. <laughs> um, so I just I'm gonna stick with you know the tried and true things, some trail mix. Um, I usually make some brownies. I have my brownie mix already. Um, apples and peanut butter and carrots um, and soup, especially for the fall. Soup is a good fall readathon thing. So this is my first readathon post for the October readathon. I will post all of the links and things and the list of you know the, all the titles of the books. Um, in the comment, and uh, not the comments, in the description below. So if you have a question about something I'm reading, or you have a suggestion, or you want to know more about the readathon, let me know in the comments. Talk to you later. Bye. Chaucer is getting ready for readathon too by being very needy, aren't you? Nice kitty, aren't you? I need to finish this, okay? Three, two. Seriously. I love you too. Can I do this, please? Chaucer, stop. I will pet you in a bit, okay? Give me those eyeballs.